Welcome to the Glen Beck Program. Tonight we're here at Battery Gardens. It's a restaurant in Lower Manhattan, which is a couple of blocks away from the world where the World Trade Center used to stand. And the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island are about half a mile out there. You can see the statue. We have a full hour with former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin. She's now a Fox News contributor. And this is the first time we've actually been in the same room and looked eyeball to eyeball with each other. Before we start, Sarah, I want to read what I wrote in my journal last night because it's about you. <clears throat> Tomorrow, I meet Sarah Palin and family for the first time. I'm actually a little nervous, as she is one of the only people that I can see that can possibly lead us out of where we are. I don't know yet if she's strong enough, if she's well enough advised, or if she knows she can no longer trust anyone. This is where I'd like to uh, go for this interview, to find out if this was the woman that can lead us and not lose her soul. Hang on, here we go. You and I have both, I mean, do you, I mean, I, I was driving over, and in fact, uh, let me, I, I, I wrote some notes here, uh. While you were driving? No, no, no. We don't do that in Alaska. Of course not, I wouldn't do that, no. When I first started thinking, talking about radical revolutionary crazy people in the White House and surrounding the system, did you at first believe it? I believed it, and we waved some red flags in the election, John McCain and I, and those around us as to what was coming. The obvious red flag, the redistribution of wealth, <clears throat> statement that President Obama had said as a candidate and we were perplexed at the end of the day that people heard those statements and yet still chose that route. It killed me to vote for John McCain and I voted for John McCain because of you. John McCain is progressive. John McCain, he's an honorable man. He is an honorable man. He's an honorable man, and that goes a long way. There's, I mean, that's a rare island to find. He's an honorable man. But he's also a progressive. He's a big government. He was for the bank bailouts. He was for health care. He's for all of it. He's for all of it. Is universal health care unconstitutional? I don't believe it's constitutional. I believe that it violates the Tenth Amendment. I believe it usurps states' rights. I believe it is, aside, aside from the unconstitutional aspect of this, I think it is most wrong-headed of Obama trying to cram it down our throats. I said a year ago, it was a year ago Christmas, a year from now, you will not recognize your country. Put yourself back a year last Christmas. Go into a coma. Wake up! Do you recognize your country? Already, the change is creating this unrecognizable system that we're part of. But yes, with the, especially with the healthcare, when incumbents are even willing to give up their power, their seat, when they're s saying, hey, if it costs me my seat in Congress, it costs me my seat in Congress, I'm going to cram this through anyway. That's scary, scary thing to consider. It's not if they're doing it on principles. It is if they're doing it for bribes, money, power, position. I, I want to know what their principles are, are then. I want to know why they think that th this... Uh... 
Exactly right. Is principled at all. Exactly right. Okay, America, we'll see uh, you next on Saturday Night Live, I'm sure. Uh, great to meet you. Thanks so much. You too. Is there anything else you'd like to tell America? Y yes. One more thing. Live from Titsworth, it's Midnight Cabaret! It's Midnight Cabaret! Emily Fitzchance! Ben Lieberman! Tony Asandi! Sarah Levant! Nikki Reinhardt! Christina Sweeney! Laurel Detkin, Sophie Kurtz, Matt Chen, Emma Casey, Yoshi Kuroi, Liam O'Brien, Marisa Zamanian, Shannon Lippert, and Andrew Muscria. And now, here are your hosts, Cassie Barrett and Carla Lerner.